Hey guys, and happy Monday. I don't know what that was, but we're feeling it. I just finished doing some tidying around the apartment and now I'm at my desk. Today's priority is to finish the research paper for my art studio class. Uh, I did not um, reach the page counts that I wanted to reach yesterday, but I still, I was still happy with what I managed to accomplish yesterday. Um, but yeah, I actually, the paper's due tomorrow, but I don't know what time tomorrow. I don't know, I something tells me it's due at noon, but it could be due at midnight. Something tells me also midnight. I don't know. But regardless, I do want to turn it in, like submit it tomorrow morning, because on Tuesdays I do like to work on my assignment for my Wednesday class, the intro to video production. Yes, that's what it's called. So yeah, today's itinerary is a uh, research paper, you know, food break, research paper, class, research paper, sleep. <laughs> oh, you know what else I need to do? I need to skim the chapter we were supposed to read for today's art studio class. Um, but that usually doesn't take too long. I don't do that like after my meal when I'm like sipping on some tea. I usually just uh, skim through it and just make sure to pay attention to vocabulary words because that's usually what matters in the end. Yeah, okay, so I have a game plan. Anyways, like I can't not think of anything else other than this dang research paper. So I'm just gonna, you know, work on the research paper. Okay, so, oh man, this, what the heck, hold on. I want this. Oh, it's magnetic. Oh, shit. How do I adjust the straps? The shit's leather. Oh, I have something here that needed to have come off. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. And then you can like adjust it in the back. Oh, man. This is like those helmets from Disney Quest. Oh man, remember those VR helmets from this, for those who went to Disney Quest and Disney Springs back then downtown Disney Orlando, they had like this VR, several VR games and stuff. And so like you put on this helmet and then you like clicked it in the back to tighten. That's exactly what this is like. Okay, I just need to make sure that this chin strap is like, oh. You guys are getting a very lovely view of my nasty pimple that is drying up. Okay, this ain't going anywhere. Ooh, yay! Yay! Oh, yay! Oh, yay! Okay, so I definitely spent more on safety gear for my skates than I did on the actual skates. But it's cool because, like, you know, you know what's gonna cost more than skates and safety gear? Your medical bill if you get into an accident. So safety first, kids. I'm really pleased that this fits me because I have a big head, which is stupid because it's an empty big head, but this fits great. It's adjustable. You can see that. So cool. And it's a lovely little terracotta color. Oh yeah, I'm so ready. All right, let's go skating. So in class today, my art studio class, we did a still life. And honestly, I think everything came out okay, except this, you know what this is supposed to be? A fuzzy slipper. No, <laughs> my toucan looks like derpy as hell, but um, oh my God, if this could be like removed, it just sticks out. It does not look like in the same style as like anything else that I did. But I don't know, like, I like just now went to wash my hands and then I came back and I'm like, you know, this is not awful. Um, I just need to, you know, know my proportions and know my spacing better. And of course, never do a fuzzy slipper again. I don't know why I chose a fuzzy slipper. I don't know. But anyways, here is my still life. Meanwhile, for our big assignment this week, we have to do three more still lives. Um, but I think one of them is optional to not use charcoal, which is great. 
So we have the still life drawing. We have to do a proposal for our final project coming up soon. Um, I need to turn in, I went last week to the museum, right? I still need to turn in the sketch that I supposedly did at the museum. What exactly I'm confessing by supposedly did at the museum? That is up for your interpretation. Anyways, and then of course the final paper, which she did clarify is due midnight tomorrow. But again, I kind of want to just get it done in the morning and then work on the rest of the day on intro to video assignment before design thinking class in the evening. Oh my God, my life is a wreck. My school life, too much to keep up. So I just cleaned the bathroom in record time. Although I did not clean the bathroom cabinet, which um, needs more time than I can allot to it. Otherwise, the bathroom is scrubbed, wiped, and sanitized, which is exactly just the peace of mind that I need right now. So it is about 8.30 now? 8.20. Okay, so I'm going to take an hour to continue wor working on my research paper. By then, I hope to have it at a really good place. I'm definitely not as far along as I would hope to have been, but um. It's a work in progress. I, if I focus, I can just get it done. So I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna put the camera down, put the phone down for the rest of the evening. And I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wish me luck. It's always a good day when my Mario Badescu order comes in. Oh my gosh. Is this. They sent like a whole sticker sheet. Oh, how nice. All right, let's see here. Here I have lip balm, lip wax, and then my dew drop and caffeine eye cream samples. So we have body soap, body lotion, and I ran out of this recently, so I rushed to get it, the whitening mask. Oh my God, this stuff is so good. I can never not have it. Hooray. Oh my God. I'm still like in shock from how many stickers they sent me. A whole sticker sheet. They've never sent me like a whole sticker sheet. Yay. See, I definitely always prefer to buy Mario Badescu products like directly from them, especially because um, you can get like free samples. One of your samples can be a sticker pack. And overall, it's just like good times, good deal, really fast shipping. Like, oh my God, I ordered Sunday? Yes. And it's Wednesday morning and it's already here. So this was ground shipping. Oh my God. Yay. I'm so excited. Hey guys. So it is Wednesday afternoon. It's about 1230. I'm feeling tired. Like... Do I look tired? I feel, I'm feeling kind of tired. <laughs> I also feel like physically like tired as if I like ran a, like a marathon yesterday, but that didn't happen. So I don't know what's up with me. All right. So let's do a little midweek check-in. Yesterday, Tuesday, I didn't film anything because I was working on the research paper. You, you got it very correct. The research paper. I ended up submitting it at like 10 13 in the evening no 10 14 10 14 it was 13 pages though the final result but the 13 pages included uh, a cover page and the bibliography so it was technically 11 pages and someone's dying again you hear that anyways um so yesterday i worked all day on that because of course um i never anticipate how long it takes me to do just about anything <sighs> But also what happened yesterday is that I talked with mom for a bit. She called me. Um, I knew it had happened because of uh, it was posted on the family group chat. But one of my mom's aunts had passed away recently. Um, what I didn't know was that she was in Boston. Um, yeah, so I have some like distant cousins here, but they're like much older than me. They're like my mom's age. So it's not like it's not like we're close cousins or anything but I don't know maybe Hispanics we got family like every which way so yeah mom filled me in on some 
details about the funeral. She put me in touch with uh, the cousins here who are, you know, planning it all, who lost their dear mother. And tomorrow I gotta, uh, tomorrow and I gotta go shopping <laughs> for a darn funeral dress. I don't have like a plain black dress. No, I don't got that. So I wanted tomorrow to go roller skating. I wanted to, well, not roller skating, roller blading, roller skating, roller, I don't fucking know anymore. So yeah, I wanted to start learning to roller skate tomorrow. Uh, but that's not going to happen now because now i got to run around town trying to find appropriate attire for the funeral. Again, first world problems, right? I also have some family flying up from Puerto Rico tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll be able to spend time with them. Maybe because I'm running errands. We'll see. I have things to do for school though. Like I just finished the research paper last night. So I didn't get to do anything for my Wednesday class the intro to video class. I didn't do anything for that. So I need to work on that right now. Um, again, luckily that teacher isn't like such a super hard ass on deadlines or anything like that. Um, so I can literally submit it like five minutes before class and he'll be like, okay, as long as you're happy with it, it makes sense. Um, it should, it shouldn't, it, it shouldn't, right? It shouldn't take long. Um, I just need to do an assembly cut, which is just pull whatever clips I wanna use for the final project. So I guess this is a good time to recap everything that needs to happen for school. So, art studio class. Submitted the research paper. Oh my God, I'm done obsessing over this darn research paper. I still need to uh, write and submit the proposal for the final project. Hold on, let me pull up Notion. Everything's on my Notion. Okay, yeah, so the final, I still need to do for art studio class, a final project proposal, the museum sketch and write up. Yes, which should have happened last week, but oh well. And then I need to draw three still lives, three still lives uh, with, um, with charcoal. So pray for me. So yeah, so as usual, art studio class is like leading the way for bunch of assignments. Uh, for design thinking class, I uh, need to work with my teammates on a huge PowerPoint presentation we need to put together um, and then, you know, prepare a 20 minute presentation with them. So that's gonna, that's a lot. That sounds like a lot, right? It sounds like a lot. And then I don't know what intro to digital video class is going to um, assign this week, but maybe it'll be part of the final project like this week's assignment was uh which was the assembly cut that goes along with your final project maybe the rest of the week will be just working on the final project i wouldn't know because the guy hasn't uploaded the darn syllabus come on dude we're actually we actually were not supposed to have class today <laughs> um because uh my university decided to just randomly announce like these two wellness days and I'm just kind of looking at that like, I don't think they put a lot of thought into how this affects um, certain classes, like my my Wednesday class. It's one, it's like, again, it's a half semester class and uh, only on Wednesdays. So to like take away one day, like not, not gonna work. I think those wellness days though are more catered towards the undergrads, like who cares about grad students? Their schedules are messed up anyways. So anyway, so that's what I have to do for school this week, this week, right? And then I have to uh, juggle all that with a funeral. Meanwhile, like another personal thing I need to do is to start um, applying for a marriage license because uh, fiance and I want to get married around the end of May. Um, Ramadan ends like mid-May. So around the end of May would be a good time to seal the deal. Mm -hmm. So that is the update on everything. Yeah, yesterday was very stressful. I started like stress eating, which is not good. Maybe that's why I feel like crap because I started just like eating like everything. And now my body's like, I need to use all my energy in digesting the whole world. Also, I am looking into um, a membership for the art museum because I want to go back. 
I'm not sure if students get a free membership though. I'm not inclined to believe that, but I got a very interesting email <laughs> saying um, that I could upgrade my one ticket to uh, a membership. So I'll look into that. If I can get a free membership, that would be amazing. Otherwise they're not super bad. Um, I'm looking at the one that's, I mean, the lowest tier is 75 a year. Um, and that's just for one person, but if for two people, it's only 115 a year, $115 a year. And it's called the contributor, the contributor pass, the contributor member level. <laughs> and then these levels also include um, tickets for special exhibitions. So yeah, two single use guest passes. Oh, we get guest passes too. Oh, that's so cool. I'm like finally like, you know, reading every bullet point on these things. These are not bad prices. Look, I am used to dealing with uh, Disney annual passes. Those are like, a literal fortune they're they're getting to like the thousand levels for like a whole year for like all four parks it's it's crazy over there 75 dollars for one person to get into the museum all year and two special exhibitions that's cheap that's like that's pennies that's pennies compared to a one day disney pass don't get me wrong i love disney but why you gotta do that Okay, so I'm going to cease the chit chat and, uh, you know, get started on my homeworks for digital video. Intro to video. Can you talk? Can you talk? I talk for five minutes and my brain's like, yep, you met your quota. Bye. Hey guys, so it is Thursday evening. It's evening. Um, it is evening. It's like 7.30 and the sun's still out. Amazing. <laughs> um, it's been a pretty hectic day. We went to Macy's because Michelle uh, didn't have anything to wear for a funeral that I need to attend tomorrow. Um, I explained this earlier this week, right? So uh, I have a great aunt who apparently was here uh, in Boston. Um, I do have some distant cousins. They're my mom's cousins, right? So they're not even my age. Um, their mom's age uh so the aunt was with her sons uh here in boston and she passed away mom did want to come with my aunt but my aunt didn't want to come so mom decided not to come so now it's up to me to represent uh the family right <laughs> And my mom's like you need to look pretty you need to go and you need to look very pretty her words okay my family can be very superficial. In a nutshell, that's the only way I can describe this, right? Uh, so yeah, so I needed, I, d I didn't have like any nice um, formal black attire. So went out, found a nice dress. Uh, shopping is, it's, it, it kills my soul. I'm not very happy with my body because, uh, you know, quarantine pounds, I gained them, right? And yeah, so it's been like, I don't hate my body, but I'm not pleased with where I'm at. I'm happy having a able functional body, um, but the minches, they, they kill me. So yeah, it's been a difficult day for body dysmorphia to say the least. Um, you know, it's easy to say someday I'll lose the quarantine pounds and get back to a former self, uh, but we'll see. We will see, because actions speak louder than words, right? But while we were out, I also decided, oh, let's go to Muji, because I've been wanting to go to Muji for a few weeks, so let me show you guys my little haul. So first of all, I got this nice linen bag for only $2. I don't know why people want to charge like $10 for these things. I mean, granted, you can't put 10 pounds worth of books in here, but it's still like a nice linen canvas market bag for when you need to like do some shopping like me going to muji all right one item is this uh case yes i kind of want to use this to um store like, beauty tools in the cab in my bathroom cabinet so like tweezers and nail clippers and stuff some black tights um because i'm not sure if i have any that fit me because you know quarantine pounds not that I don't think this will fit me much either, even though it does go for extra large, but like, I'm sorry, 
uh, I don't think the manufacturers of Muji know my thighs. Facial blotting paper, always good to have some of that. Some chopsticks, some nice black chopsticks because I don't have like a pair of chopsticks here for the house. Two natural grass coasters. These are gonna be for my desk. Um, these are the current coasters on my desk. So needless to say, I have been trying to find some replacements for a while. And now I finally have some, ha. And then for our bedroom, we have the same coasters. I like, we usually have like some kind of water glass on our nightstands. So these are the new coasters for our nightstand. I saw this really nice, uh, they call it a pocket book. I don't know what pocket, no, it's called a pocket note. Yeah, I don't know what pocket fits this guy because this is like A5 size. What is this? Hold on. Oh yeah, this guy's like just a little less than a Leuchtturm. Yeah, yeah, about the same width. Ooh, I wonder if this will fit in my A5 Hobonichi cover. I'm sure it will, because I know you for sure Leuchtturms can fit in those. Um, wait, can they? I know they fit, I know you can fit a Leuchtturm in one of the zip-up Hobonichi covers um, in A5, because those just tend to be bigger than like the other ones that close, that close like this. Hmm. I'll have to test that. Anyways, I don't need it, but it was like so nice looking. It's blank on the inside. I'm not sure the paper quality, but we will find out later. <laughs> and then honestly, this was the real purpose of my going to Muji. I really wanted um, this multicolor pen because the multicolor pen that I use on like my current planner system, it is a, what is this? It's a uni jet stream right um but the ink is just not as vivid as that of a muji ink so michelle needed the muji ink for her planner oh yeah check that out that is looking snazzy so that's my muji haul i went ahead and got two of the pens muji is so funny because a lot of this stuff is very economical you know two dollar canvas bag like two dollar coasters but then like all this stuff starts adding up and then it's like oh i just spent a lot of money at muji so yes i got my muji fix i should be set for the next three months maybe we'll see so right now the game plan is um do some tidying up because you know i just have like a bunch of muji stuff just sitting here on my desk that needs to go where they need to go I really want to clean. I just really want to get this apartment in shape for the weekend. Um, it's been almost a week since I've done like a, a dust or a vacuum and like I can like feel it in my nose like the allergy like the dust allergies are just kind of like they're starting to hit me right so I would rather just right now clean um, and then take an early shower because remember when my mom's like you need to look pretty so I gotta like wash my hair I gotta just fix all this you see how this is like not looking like the best right now well I gotta fix that oh I should do a scrubby mask and then after shower just see what I can get done with some schoolwork I did start um some stuff yesterday oh my god I can't even talk I'm tired I spent like two hours talking with my sister so I'm surprised I'm even talking right now <laughs> Anyway, so let's review. My game plan is tidy, clean, shower, homework. In terms of homework, I want to finish my uh, final project proposal for the art studio class. And then I would like to um, just start participating in the, uh, the final group presentation for design thinking class. Yes. What are the two things I want to work on today? <gasps> Ooh, I forgot that I needed to do something for work. Mm, I should do that. Okay, so I have a game plan. I got things to do. The sun is setting. I am running out of time for the day. I did have a good day though. It was a good day. I can't complain. Oh my God. 
Beyonce made turkey burgers. They were so good. Oh my God, homemade turkey burgers. Love it. He makes a really good homemade burger in general, but like with the turkey, oh, my stomach, that's so good. All right, so I wanted to check in with you guys, tell you guys what my day has been like, show you all the cute things I got at Muji because I freaking love Muji and you should love Muji because Muji is great. All right, less talky, more doing. Bye guys. I lied, I'm not done talking yet. The curiosity is killing me, but I wanted to confirm that a Loish Term 1917 notebook does indeed fit in a Hobonichi uh, cover. Yeah, so check it out. So again, A5 Loish Term 1917 fitting in an A5 Hobonichi. Check it, check it. Which means this guy for sure will fit. And it's like, it's good. It's like perfect. The only thing is that Hobonichi planners are obviously a little thicker, but this is fine. I'm sure that a soft cover Loish Term notebook would do even better because the hard cover does add um, some rather unnecessary weight. So for those who are curious, now you know. Oh, my hair looks adorable today. Oh my gosh, for once it doesn't look like a nasty mop. Look at this volume, hey. So it is Saturday early afternoon. I didn't film anything yesterday because uh, the focus was just to get as much schoolwork done as possible before the funeral, um, which I'm sure I mentioned earlier. So yesterday was uh, the funeral, right? And uh, it was actually a really, really nice time uh, to get to see that part of the family. Uh, so let me explain this like family tree for a quick minute. My grandmother was one of nine children. It was seven girls and two boys. And all the, all the girls, all the sisters, they were very, very close to each other. Um, so which uh, it was a very strong relationship throughout all their very long lives. The sister, all the sisters either lived in Puerto Rico or in Chicago. So I have a, I have a good amount of family in Chicago or family that used to live in Chicago. Uh, I believe one of them ended up living in Florida. Yes, one of them did end up living in Florida um, in a retirement community near Tampa. So all these sisters, all these aunties basically have like God status in our family. It's like, it's that intense. So this particular auntie, she had four sons. Um, her husband passed away when the sons were very, very little. Um, they were living in Colombia at the time. So sometime after he had passed away, she ended up moving to Chicago where she had some sisters and all that nice stuff and then from there she raised all four boys on her own she was a school teacher ended up being a school principal all the sons grew up to be very very successful professionals had very beautiful families um, they all took care of their mommy uh, the mommy meanwhile would take care of her dogs very well she would feed her children like chicken and rice and beans and stuff but then the dogs would get steak dinners that's a good mom that's a good dog mom so then she had passed from old age and all her sons were with her uh, when she took her final breaths so it was um you know it was a, it was sad because you know this the mom is gone like their mom is gone they miss their mom like you know you never think your mom's gonna leave you um but at the end of the day, like she had a very full life. That's that's the laundry in the background. I have laundry going, right? So this auntie had a very full life. So yesterday really was a celebration of life. And it was really, again, it was really nice seeing that part of the family. Like I had mentioned, like all these uh, aunties, they have like God status. So when she had passed, um, all the sons had arranged for uh, the aunties that are still living um, to come to this funeral. So two aunties in Puerto Rico and then one that was still in Chicago. I'm pretty, I'm close to the two aunties in Puerto Rico. So it was really nice seeing them and they saw me, they were like, oh my God, Michelle, my beautiful girl. And they got to meet my fiance and they were very, very smitten with him. <laughs> So after the funeral service, we had gone to the hotel where a lot of them were staying at were, and they had arranged a nice lasagna dinner. And oh my God, guys, I feel like I had 
real lasagna. Like this is a, it took 29 years for me to finally have a real lasagna. It was so good. My cousin told me uh, where they catered it from and you can bet that I will be going back for that lasagna because that was really good. They had ordered like several, they had the, they had a meat, a cheese and a veggie, which was just basically eggplant. Um, so we had the eggplant and it was so good. We didn't have the meat because we didn't know if it had pork. Uh, fiance is Muslim. So I was like, just stick with the eggplant. Do you like eggplant? And then we all just chatted, we ate, uh, made sure to take pictures. And I posted a lot of pictures to the family WhatsApp so that everyone in Puerto Rico could see um, this branch of the family. So it was a really nice time yesterday. We ended up staying a lot longer. I had anticipated a five to eight thing that ended up going till 11 in the evening. Needless to say, we came back home late. We went to sleep late. I woke up late. Half the day is gone, I feel. <laughs> And I have things to do, but it was still, it was really nice. I'm really glad that uh, mom made me go to the funeral. And I had, uh, at one point I had like brought up mom on my FaceTime and she was able to see everyone and be like, oh my God, I haven't seen you in so many years. Oh my God, I haven't seen you since my adolescence. My, my mother is adolescence. My mother turned 60 last year. Your adolescence? You haven't seen these people since your adolescence? Girl. All right, so Saturday, usually like my big working days. Uh, today, I need to, what was I doing? I should have uh, updated my to-do list. Uh-huh, yeah, I did not update my to-do list last night because I came home late. Let's see here, from the top of my memory, I need to finish uh, a write-up for the museum sketchbook assignment. Oh my God, wait till you see the sketch. So this is my sketch, um, look at that, look at that. What is that, what is that? So I was supposed to have sketched this at the museum, but uh, because of where, oh my God, I got fingers smudged everywhere. What the heck? Anyways, because of where this gigantic painting was in uh, the museum, there were two couches in front of it, which were always occupied by what were obviously college students just sitting chatting so now and I was like I'm not I'm not gonna deal with this crowd no offense to my fellow college students but I'm I'm an older league of college students and I have no patience anyways so I was supposed to have sketched this there so I kind of cheated on this assignment which I shouldn't be admitting but you know what I only get like 20 viewers on these little videos my art studio teacher's not one of them but I had taken a picture of it. I bought like the postcard print of it at the museum shop. And I had also gotten like, you know, this guy. Uh, so this one gave me the full dimensions and all that nice stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so I did this. I need to finish the write up on how it uses the elements of art and why it's a cool piece and all that stuff. So I'm gonna write that up. After I'm done with that, I'm going to, what do I wanna do after that? I should probably start working um, more on the group project presentation because we don't know if we're gonna go on Tuesday, but we need to be ready. And so yeah, I need to cooperate with my team on that. Um, then I gotta do three still life drawings with charcoal, so. We'll see how that goes okay so let's see here um i'll do some things for group project i'll like start laying down uh points and then do more elaboration tomorrow i want to definitely finish the three still lives today get that submitted tomorrow not worry about that um then already planning for monday monday i can just continue finessing on the group project as well as starting the rough cut for intro to video. I don't know what art studio is going to assign this coming week, but odds are it's gonna be starting on the final project. So I need to shop for that first. I'm already thinking to next week and I gotta prioritize today. Okay, so I'm gonna update my to-do list and then continue doing laundry. Fiance is going to have food with his buddies, so I think I'm going to make myself a 
Canton noodle soup, perhaps. Mm, that sounds delicious. I'm expecting two packages today. I should go downstairs and check if they're there. They're probably already there. Okay, things to do, running out of time. All right, so we got our two little packages. The first one is from Petit Bour. Uh, let's see, I got one of the French Girl lip tints in the shade Veronique. Then I got the underarm bar. It's basically a soap um, specifically designed for your armpits. It detoxes them so that makes you less smelly. This has been a godsend because as much as I love my fiance, he is he can be one smelly guy. So this has been absolutely great and um, it also prevents staining on all of your clothing because you know your armpits are detoxified. And then this amazing hair conditioner, voluminous conditioner, smells so good, worth the crazy price that it is. And so yeah, that's my little Petit Bour haul. Yay. Meanwhile, the second package is from a site called Sampleize, and these are basically paint samples, like legit paint samples. So you know how you go to like Home Depot or something and you get like the little paint sample cards? Well, the cards that they're on, it's like that shiny glossy stuff. So you don't really get like the best accurate representation of that paint. Um, but this website actually paints onto like some very good sticky paper. So you get the paint texture. It just smells like paint. Oh yeah, this was painted sometime last week um and yeah so this and then you just stick these on your wall and it'll let you know exactly what this shade is going to look like on your walls it's so cool so i want to try to sample this guy for the bedroom then i got a few more colors so i want to paint these walls right um i like the green but it's a little too dark for my liking so i'm just trying to find like a lighter shade the pearl gray um sea salt from sharon williams and yeah these are all like legit paint brands that you can find basically anywhere A pretty cute possibility. And then white sage. Oh, this one looks great. Oh wow, that one's gonna look so good. Alright, and then from here I see so yeah, these are the shades that I'm picking out from, and then we'll see if I can make a final decision and hopefully have everything painted by summer. Yay. One last housekeeping note. Look at all the mother flippers this thing has caught. I put this in Thursday evening. It is Saturday afternoon. Where are these guys coming from? It's so annoying. It's so annoying, guys. Fresh from the stovetop, we got some Canton noodles chicken dumplings, green onions, um, horrifically sliced garlic, mushrooms, and some sriracha. Yes, give it to me. One day I will learn how to properly make the broth for these kinds of soupy noodles. Today was not that day, but hopefully soon. Oh God, here we go. Hey guys, it is Sunday morning. It is a cloudy, gloomy day. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna rain, but it's a dark, it's a dark one outside. I just finished doing some morning journaling. I have been slacking a lot with morning journaling and journaling in general. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe I just needed the break. So it's been like a whole week. Um, since last I did morning pages and then before that it was already a little scattered so I don't know what's going on with my morning routine but uh, morning journaling has not been a part of it but I feel so good right now I feel so calm I like wrote three whole spreads oh, 
feeling great feeling great you guys since i got so much done yesterday for school i feel for the most part caught up and uh yeah i think today i can just focus on some housekeeping things um but i do need to do some school things i want to flush out um my pow my portion of the powerpoint slides for the design thinking group project um so that's like the one school thing that i would like to get done today i'm not sure if i want to start on the rough cut for my intro to video class i'm looking at my to-do list so that's why i keep looking down but yeah i have a to-do list i still have a to-do list regardless but like i mentioned i kind of want to just focus more on housekeeping things so the usual sunday tasks so put away all that laundry uh, finish two loads of laundry Sundays I usually do uh, like all the white clothing and then the towels clean dust vacuum clean the bathroom oh my god remember last week did I mention this last week our bathroom cabinet is looking pretty grody uh, I didn't get a chance to clean it last week tidy desk um there's just like two random piles that appeared edit vlogs because I'm behind on that yeah it's a pretty decent to-do list um but again like most of this stuff is stuff that I already do on a Sunday yeah for food uh it's definitely like the perfect day to have red lentil soup I wanted red lentil soup yesterday but I decided to do the noodles instead because fiance was gonna go out uh to eat with his friends because he has friends I don't have friends in Boston so yeah, I'm really glad that yesterday went very well in terms of finishing and submitting um, a bunch of things that I'm able to just like have like a piece of my, I finally feel like I'm all caught up with my assignments because I don't know, the past few weeks I've just been like pushing, like pushing it, like I'm getting, I don't know, closer to uh, submitting things closer to the deadline than I would like. Um, it's changing now it's changing i'm all cut up i feel great i feel great hey guys so it is evening now um i'm just checking all my emails quickly uh the apartment is clean so everything is set and ready for the week i did not get as far as i would have liked uh with my powerpoint slides for the group project so i'm a little disappointed in myself on that but tomorrow's a new day and you don't know, you know what we don't even know if we're going to present on tuesday so thanks teacher i had make hummus on my to-do list for today but that did not happen either so maybe today i'll whip not today today's over tomorrow i will try to whip some up um in the meantime it's getting kind of late so i'm going to just shower and get ready for bed so i'm gonna end this weekly vlog here goodness knows when i'll publish this i'm behind we all know i'm behind i'm like a month behind what the heck am i doing with my life april is next week so that's kind of devastating anyways i hope you guys had a good week please 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 stay safe out there like oh it's it's just one piece of bad news after another so please guys just stay safe be vigilant stay healthy and i will see you all next time Bye.